this this isn't a good time. I'm about to perform for little big shots. Okay, sounds like fun. I'll leave Katie at home. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. Darcy Lynn. Farmer's name is synonymous with ventriloquism magic. Her jaw-dropping performance on America's Got Talent, which ultimately led to her season 12 victory. Well, I would like to introduce you to my new friend, Oscar. Left audiences in awe. But Darcy Lynn is much more than just a puppet master. She is a multifaceted artist who has blossomed beyond the world of ventriloquism, stepping into the spotlight as a skilled singer and actress. One of these mornings. From pint-sized ventriloquist to multi-talented star, Darcy Lynn's journey is a whirlwind of growth and artistry. Join us as we take a look at the captivating rise of this one-of-a-kind performer. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Finding her voice. Darcy Lynn Farmer first entered the world on October 12, 2004, in the heart of Oklahoma City. Her parents, Clark and Misty Farmer, filled their home with love and laughter, and Darcy was blessed with three brothers, Nate, Dalton, and Nick. Darcy, from a young age, was blessed with a beautiful voice and a passion for singing. See the boy with the Stevie But a secret shyness held her back. Stepping onto a stage under the bright lights and curious gazes felt like climbing a mountain. Darcy recalls those days with a chuckle now, but back then, even talking to people or meeting their gaze head on seemed like an Everest of social interaction. Hiding behind her mom became her default setting. Even ordering her own food at restaurants was an ordeal. She would leave that task to her mom, but somewhere deep inside, a tiny voice dreamt of bursting free, of embracing the world with her voice and talents, even if it meant facing those butterflies fluttering in her tummy. Darcy's parents, Clark and Misty, were determined to help their daughter find her voice. They decided to gently nudge Darcy outside her comfort zone by suggesting she attend the 2014 International Cinderella Scholarship Program. At first, Darcy wasn't keen on the idea. The thought of being surrounded by unfamiliar people and performing on stage was terrifying. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> but her mom, Misty, had a plan. She told Darcy that they were just going to watch her cousin compete to see what it was all about. Perhaps if Darcy saw other girls her age confidently taking the spotlight, it might spark a little courage in her own heart. So Darcy and Misty sat in the audience, watching the pageant unfold. As each contestant sang, danced, and answered questions, Darcy found herself captivated. The girls weren't just pretty faces, they were brave, talented, and full of personality. And slowly, a tiny seed of hope began to sprout within Darcy, and she felt she could also do it too. That seed of hope quickly blossomed into a full-blown dream. Darcy decided to take the plunge and enter the competition herself. With her parents' support and a newfound determination, she practiced and prepared. And then the moment arrived. Darcy didn't just participate, she shone, captivating the audience with her talent and newfound confidence. And to everyone's delight, Darcy was crowned International Mini Miss. It was a victory not just for her talent, but for her courage. This triumph at the Cinderella Scholarship Program was just the beginning of Darcy's journey. It was a turning point, a spark that ignited a fire of confidence within her. Sometimes we do. We usually argue about who can yodel the best. We all know it's me. <laughs> Darcy Lynn Farmer's journey to becoming a ventriloquist superstar. During her reign as the international mini-miss, Darcy had the chance to meet Larissa Bonaquisti, the older international teen title holder for that year. Larissa wasn't just any teen queen. She was also a talented ventriloquist, bringing her puppet friends to life on stage with incredible skill. Watching Larissa perform sparked something special in Darcy. The way Larissa used her voice to give her puppets distinct personalities. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Making them sing, joke, and tell stories was mesmerizing. Darcy, still battling her own shyness, saw in Larissa a way to overcome her fears and connect with audiences in a whole new way. The idea of using a puppet as a shield, a brave little sidekick who could take the spotlight while she stood behind the scenes, was both exciting and comforting. Larissa's passion for ventriloquism planted a seed in Darcy's heart, a seed that would soon blossom into a lifelong love for the art. In 2014, Darcy's life took an exciting turn. Inspired by Larissa's performance, she decided to try ventriloquism herself. With Larissa's guidance and a month of practice, Darcy was ready to step onto the stage. Wow! Hi! 
She entered Edmund's Got Talent, her heart pounding with both excitement and nerves. But as the light shone on her and her puppet companion, Darcy's talent shone even brighter. Her performance was captivating, filled with humor, heart, and impressive ventriloquist skills. The audience roared with applause, and Darcy was declared the winner. This first victory was just the beginning. Darcy's talent caught the eye of ventriloquist coach Gary Owen, who was blown away by her natural ability. He knew he had to be a part of her journey. Gary became Darcy's trainer and business manager. To further hone her skills, Darcy also began working with vocal coach Tiana Plemons. Under their expert guidance, Darcy's talent blossomed. The following year, Darcy was on fire. She took first place in both Oklahoma Kids and the junior division of Oklahoma's Got Talent. Her winning streak continued at the American Kids competition in Branson, Missouri, where she claimed top honors in Broadway, specialty acts, and even the coveted Entertainer of the Year award. With every triumph, Darcy's confidence soared. Ventriloquism wasn't just a hobby anymore. It was her passion, her voice, her way of connecting with audiences and sharing her love for performing. It was a passion so strong that Darcy made a difficult decision. She decided to step away from gymnastics, a sport she had dedicated years to, to fully pursue her calling as a ventriloquist. Darcy takes the big stage. The year 2016 was jam-packed with incredible milestones for Darcy. In March, she landed on the popular show Little Big Shots. Hey, listen, this isn't a good time. I'm about to perform for Little Big Shots. Okay, sounds like fun. I'll leave Katie at home. Where she wowed the audience with a charming performance of I Want to Be a Cowboy's Sweetheart alongside her puppet sidekick, Katie the Cowgirl. But Darcy wasn't just charming TV audiences, she was also making history in the ventriloquist community. In July, she became the first ever child ventriloquist to headline an evening show at the prestigious Vent Haven Convention. This wasn't just any show, it was a 40-year-old tradition, and Darcy was entrusted to share the stage with ventriloquist legends Kevin Johnson and Todd Oliver. In March 2017, Darcy's star continued to rise as she appeared on the British version of Little Big Shots. Once again, she captivated the audience with her sweet rendition of I Wanna Be a Cowboy's Sweetheart alongside the ever-adorable Katie. Darcy sets her sights on America's Got Talent. Ever since she was a little girl, Darcy had been glued to the TV, watching America's Got Talent with wide eyes and a heart full of dreams. The stage glittered, the music soared, and the stories unfolded like magic. One day, a realization struck her. She could be up there too. The spark of a dream ignited into a roaring flame. It wasn't just a wish anymore, it was a plan. Darcy, with her determination and her trusty puppets by her side, decided to audition for America's Got Talent. In November, she packed her puppets, Thelma and Patsy, into her bags and set off for Austin, Texas to audition for the executive producers of America's Got Talent. As Darcy stood under the bright lights, her nerves danced a little jig in her stomach. But when she began to sing and her puppets came to life, the magic was undeniable. The producers watched, captivated by her talent and infectious enthusiasm. They saw a star waiting to shine. A few months later, the phone rang in the farmer household. It was the call Darcy had been waiting for, the call that could change everything. The producers wanted her to come to California to audition for the celebrity judges themselves. Excitement bubbled over like a pot of boiling water. Darcy's journey, fueled by her unwavering spirit and her love for ventriloquism, was just beginning. The California audition would be a turning point in Darcy's life, a moment that would catapult her from living room dreamer to national sensation. Darcy's journey on America's Got Talent began with a leap of faith. She sacrificed the first day of seventh grade to audition, and it was a sacrifice well worth making. On the season premiere, May 30th, 2017, the young ventriloquist and her bunny buddy stole the show with a stunning rendition of Summertime from Porgy and Bess. Darcy's voice, smooth and sweet, blended flawlessly with the puppet's raspy charm. They swayed to the music, their voices weaving a magic spell that captivated the audience and judges alike. Your mouth moving and you are that professional. You're amazing. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath. You're amazing. <laughs> the crowd erupted in a standing ovation, a wave of appreciation washing over the stage. Even the notoriously tough Simon Cowell was impressed, declaring, you're both brilliant. But it was Mel B, the former Spice Girl, who truly cemented Darcy's place in America's Got Talent history. So smitten was Mel B with Darcy's talent that she slammed the golden buzzer, sending the 12-year-old straight to the live shows. In an instant, 
Darcy bypassed the entire competition, her dream taking flight with a golden flourish. The impact of Darcy's performance went far beyond the stage. The video of her audition became the most watched in the show's history within just 30 hours, racking up millions of views. It reached even greater heights later, landing at number 4 on YouTube's Top 10 Trending Videos of 2017. Darcy's talent had touched the world, proving that age is just a number when it comes to captivating an audience. From golden buzzer to champion, Darcy's America's Got Talent journey continued its whirlwind pace after that jaw-dropping golden buzzer moment. For her first live show, she paired up with her charming mouse puppet Oscar and belted out a soulful rendition of Who's Lovin' You? The audience roared, and the judges beamed, confirming that Darcy's magic hadn't faded away. The competition escalated further in the semifinals, where Darcy transformed into the sassy and hilarious Edna Doorknocker. Together, they delivered a powerhouse performance of a natural woman, leaving everyone speechless. It was clear that Darcy could handle any character, any song, and any stage, but the highlight was yet to come. In the final round, Darcy brought back her beloved pals Petunia and Oscar for a heartwarming performance of With a Little Help from My Friends. The stage was filled with love, laughter, and pure talent. Even the famously critical Simon Cowell couldn't resist making a prediction. I think you're going to win, and win she did. During the heart-stopping finale, Darcy shared the stage with legendary ventriloquist Terry Fader, performing a show-stopping duet of Anything You Can Do. When the confetti rained down on Darcy as she was announced the winner, it wasn't just a victory, it was a celebration. But the surprises weren't over yet. NBC revealed that Darcy had received the most votes out of any finale performance in the show's history. Not only had she impressed the judges and audience, she had captivated millions nationwide. Darcy, the shy girl who had barely stepped onto a stage, had become America's Got Talent champion, holding on to the coveted one million grand prize. Beyond the spotlight, Darcy's life changed forever after winning America's Got Talent. The little girl with a big voice and even bigger dreams was suddenly thrust into the spotlight, her talent recognized on a national stage. Fame and recognition followed, but Darcy remained surprisingly grounded. Winning the grand prize on America's Got Talent wasn't just about the golden buzzer and the confetti, it was a life-changing moment for Darcy. Suddenly, that one million prize money felt like a magical wish list waiting to be granted. But how does a 12-year-old decide what to do with such a big sum? Well, Darcy's plans were anything but typical. Instead of splurging on fancy cars or extravagant vacations, she had her heart set on some heartwarming and practical choices. First things first, she wanted to give back to her community and her faith. A generous donation to her church's mission program was high on her priority list. After all, spreading kindness and helping others was always important to Darcy. Next on Darcy's list was a gift for her mom, a brand new dishwasher. But Darcy didn't forget about herself. Every young girl dreams of a furry friend, and Darcy was no different. She announced her plans to get a precious pug. Of course, saying goodbye to America's Got Talent was bittersweet. Darcy had poured her heart and soul into the competition, and she admitted she had missed everything about the experience. The friendships she made, the incredible performances, the electrifying energy of the live shows, it was all a whirlwind she wouldn't soon forget. But even with the curtain closing on America's Got Talent, Darcy's story was just beginning. She opted to take a break from public school and transition to homeschooling. This allowed her to juggle her newfound responsibilities with her education, ensuring she had space to grow and mature without sacrificing her studies. Interestingly, despite her newfound celebrity status, Darcy didn't experience a dramatic shift in how people treated her. Sure, there were moments of starstruck wonder, the occasional stare, an excited request for an autograph from a schoolmate. But for the most part, the people in her life, her friends, her family, and even her classmates continued to treat her with the same warmth and respect they always had. This grounded approach to fame speaks volumes about Darcy's character and sense of self. This groundedness is what makes Darcy so special. Even with the whirlwind of success and fame, she remained true to herself and her values. She found a way to embrace her new reality without losing sight of the people and things that truly mattered. And that, perhaps, is the most important lesson of all. No matter how far you fly, Always remember where you came from and the people who helped you get there. Darcy Lynn's Year of Joy, Laughter and Giving Back Darcy's whirlwind year after winning America's Got Talent wasn't over yet. 
September 2017 saw her grace the stage of the Ellen DeGeneres show, wowing the audience with her ventriloquist magic. Not long after, she even landed a spooky role alongside comedy veteran Jeff Dunham. In Jeff Dunham's video, The Haunted House on Dunham Hill, I'd really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? Darcy brought three of her puppets, Petunia, Oscar, and Edna trick-or-treating at Dunham's mansion. Can you imagine the hilarious chaos that ensued when her quirky characters met Dunham's iconic puppets like Walter, Ahmed, Peanut, and Bubba J? Not one to slow down. Darcy then surprised fans with a guest appearance at a Terry Fader show in November 2017. The two ventriloquist stars shared the stage at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, delighting the audience with their unique brand of humor and puppetry magic. And just in time for the holidays, Darcy teamed up with the A Capella group Pentatonix for their special A Very Pentatonix Christmas. In a playful Easter-themed twist, she and Petunia performed a hilarious parody of O Christmas Tree called O Easter Egg, once again proving her talent and versatility knew no bounds. Darcy's star kept rising after her amazing win on America's Got Talent. She couldn't wait to share her love of ventriloquism with everyone, so she announced a huge national tour called Darcy Lynn and Friends Live. At first, the tour was just a short burst of fun, playing at five different places between January and February 2018. But Darcy's talent and charm were like magic. Everyone wanted to see more. So the tour exploded into a massive adventure, growing to an incredible 52 dates between January 2018 and January 2019. That's almost a whole year of performing across the country, and the fun didn't stop there. Darcy couldn't resist adding a festive touch to the end of the year. So, in November and December, she brought back the magic with nine special Christmas performances called Rocking Around the Christmas Tree with Darcy Lynn and Friends. Imagine cozy theaters filled with twinkling lights, joyous carols sung by Darcy and her puppet pals, and enough laughter to melt even the Grinch's heart. The new year brought a whole new round of exciting opportunities. Darcy charmed audiences on morning shows like Today and brought her ventriloquist magic to iconic stages like the Grand Ole Opry. She even made a fun cameo on the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, showing off her versatility and sense of humor. And if you thought that was all, think again. Darcy returned to Little Big Shots, belting out a powerful duet with Oscar. She even shared her talents on talk shows like Pickler and Ben and Steve, proving that her charm and wit could win over any audience. She even found time to give back. Darcy's big heart led her to participate in the Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala, using her platform to help others. And to top it all off, she made a triumphant return to America's Got Talent as a guest, showcasing her dazzling skills with Petunia by her side. But 2018 wasn't over yet. Darcy rounded out the year with guest appearances on Kids Baking Championship and even graced the stage of NBC's Christmas in Rockefeller Center, spreading holiday cheer with her heartwarming renditions of Christmas classics. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick, Darcy Lynn Farmer. The name might not immediately ring a bell to everyone, but her talent and infectious giggle have captivated audiences worldwide. This teenage ventriloquist, singer, and comedian rose to fame on America's Got Talent, winning the hearts of millions with her wit, charm, and undeniable talent. But what truly sets Darcy apart is her ability to navigate the often treacherous waters of fame with grace and maturity beyond her years. Unlike many child stars who succumb to the pressures of Hollywood, Darcy has kept her feet firmly planted on the ground. Her social media is a refreshing blend of professional accomplishments and goofy moments with family and friends. She prioritizes her education, finishing high school like any other teenager, and hasn't let the glitz and glamour distract her from pursuing her goals. But how does she do it? How does a teenager juggle the demands of fame, academics, and a burgeoning career without losing sight of who she is? Perhaps it's her strong family support system, or maybe it's her unwavering focus on her passions. Whatever the secret, Darcy Lynn Farmer is a role model for aspiring artists and a testament to the power of staying true to oneself, even amidst the dizzying heights of success. So what do you think makes Darcy Lynn so special? And how can we as individuals cultivate the same kind of groundedness and resilience in our own lives? Share your thoughts in the comments below. A sweet start to 2019. 2019 started off sweet for Darcy with an appearance on the Food Network show Winner Cake All. 
This talented girl could not only sing and make puppets come alive, but she could also hold her own in the kitchen. But the biggest excitement of the year was undoubtedly her return to America's Got Talent. This time, she wasn't just a guest. She was a competitor in the special America's Got Talent, The Champions Edition. Welcome to Champions. You are a champion. <laughs> yes, you are. Darcy and Oscar took the stage with a bang, belting out a vibrant medley of Nutbush City Limits and Proud Mary. The audience roared with approval, and Darcy placed in the top three. That's when things got even more exciting. Darcy was brought back as a wild card act, taking the stage with the ever-charming Petunia. Together, they delivered a breathtaking rendition of the opera classic, O Mio Babino Caro, leaving the judges and audience speechless. The grand finale was a star-studded event, and Darcy shared the stage with legendary puppeteer Bill Beretta. Together, they performed a heartwarming duet of Can't Smile Without You, with Darcy as the sassy Edna and Beretta as the beloved Ralph the Dog from The Muppets. It was a magical moment that solidified Darcy's place as a true ventriloquist legend. In the end, Darcy may not have walked away with the top prize, but she did something even more important. She reminded everyone that talent and passion can take you anywhere, even to the top of the competition. She became the runner-up, leaving her mark on the show and inspiring millions with her incredible journey. A year of fresh performances. Darcy's whirlwind journey continued even after her incredible America's Got Talent, The Champions Run. She kept her calendar packed with exciting experiences and performances. In February 2019, Darcy Lynn and friends fresh out of the box. It was a fresh new chapter, filled with laughter, music, and of course, her amazing puppet pals. But Darcy wasn't just about her own shows. In March, she joined the Barbie Be Anything tour, spreading the message of empowerment and inspiring girls to dream big. In April, she used her voice for good at a We Day event in Washington, D.C. September was another America's Got Talent reunion. Darcy returned as a guest performer alongside season 12 finalist Preacher Lawson. Imagine the two of them belting out, It's a man's 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 world with Petunia by Darcy's side. Oh my carrots. What? Look at all these people! It was a powerhouse performance that left the audience cheering. November brought more laughs and surprises. Darcy graced the sketch comedy series All That with her sassy puppet Petunia, proving that ventriloquism could be hilarious even in a non-singing format. She also flew north for another We Day event in Vancouver, spreading her message of empowerment and giving back to the community. 2020 was another exciting year. February saw Darcy belting out Something's Got a Hold on Me with Oscar on The Kelly Clarkson Show, and she even returned for another appearance in April. In July, she took on a new challenge, becoming a panelist on Nickelodeon's Unfiltered, hosted by comedian Jay Farrow. She brought her wit and wisdom to the show, proving that she was more than just a ventriloquist. She was a talented and insightful young woman. And to top it all off, she returned to all that as the musical guest, once again rocking out with Oscar and Something's Got a Hold on Me. Darcy Lynn's Cinematic Debut Darcy's journey took a thrilling turn in April 2022. She stepped into the world of big screen acting with her first ever feature film role in A Cowgirl's Song. Playing a character in a film was a different kind of magic than performing on stage with her puppets. Darcy had to dive deeper into emotions, connect with her fellow actors, and bring the story to life through her voice and body language. It was a challenge she embraced with gusto, learning from the experienced cast and crew and pouring her heart and soul into every scene. The film itself was a heartwarming tale of family, friendship, and finding your voice. Darcy's character, no doubt, added a touch of her signature charm and humor to the mix. A Cowgirl's Song marked a significant step in Darcy's ever-evolving career. It showcased her versatility as an entertainer. See the girl with the darlings in your shoes. And her willingness to embrace new challenges. It also proved that her talent and charisma could shine brightly on any stage, big or small. And as the credits rolled, one thing was clear. Darcy Lynn, the girl who captivated the world with her puppets, was now well on her way to becoming a bona fide star. Breathing life into ventriloquism and bridging generations, Darcy's impact on the world went far beyond just winning a talent show. Her incredible journey on America's Got Talent did something truly special. It brought ventriloquism back into the spotlight. 
people who had never heard of the art form were suddenly captivated by Darcy's hilarious puppets and her seamless performances. It was like magic, but with a whole lot more sass and singing. Remember that final performance of hers? I really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? Bill King, a real expert in the entertainment world, said it was so seamless, you need to be reminded of its difficulty. That's how good she is. It isn't just about the puppets talking. I, I fall in love. It is about the way Darcy breathed life into them, making them laugh, sing, and even argue with each other in the most believable way. Suddenly, ventriloquism wasn't just a dusty old act from vaudeville shows. It was fresh, it was funny, and it was cool. Kids were begging for puppet kits. Adults were reminiscing about their favorite ventriloquists, and even comedians were taking notice of Darcy's talent. Terry Fader, the legendary ventriloquist known for his hilarious puppets and smooth crooning calling someone else one of the most talented human beings on the planet. About the age difference, you're so old he could give you a heart attack. That's exactly what he said about Darcy Lynn. In an interview, Fader couldn't help but sing her praises, recognizing the incredible talent and skill this young artist possesses. It wasn't just empty flattery either. Fater, with his decades of experience in the world of ventriloquism, knows true talent when he sees it. He saw a dedication to the art form and a natural charisma that transcended age and experience. In a way, Darcy has become a bridge between the past and the future of ventriloquism. She showed that this unique art form could still be relevant, entertaining, and even downright hilarious in the modern world. And thanks to her, a whole new generation discovered the joy of talking puppets and the magic of ventriloquism. Through it all, Darcy has kept inspiring audiences with her talent, humor, and big heart. She proved that you can achieve anything you set your mind to, no matter your age or background. And with every performance, she showed the world that the magic of ventriloquism wasn't just about puppets. It was about connecting with people, sharing joy, and making the world a little brighter. So, the next time you hear Darcy's name or see her perform, remember that she's not just a talented young girl. She's carrying the legacy of ventriloquism on her shoulders. And there's no doubt that she'll continue to push boundaries, break records, and prove that the magic of a talking puppet is still very much alive. Utro, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.